I'm Louisiana Sue, and I'm here at the river, the Sacramento River, where I'm fixing a basic jambalaya, Cajun, Louisiana style. It's a sausage and chicken jambalaya. Now, jambon is French for with ham. So we're going to actually put a little ham base in our jambalaya. This recipe is quick and easy, and you can even do it under a tree at the Sacramento River. If you'd like to know what goes into it, it's just simple. Chicken, sausage, ham, and the trinity of Cajun cooking. That would be bell peppers, celery, and onions. I like to mix both white onions and green onions. So we actually cook our sausage off. Remember, you can take a look in your refrigerator and find out what's there, and it's your next great meal. It's Cajun style. The important thing to do to know is put a little Cajun flavor in it, and I'll tell you how to make your own Cajun seasoning. It's awesome. It'll spice up your food without the salt, and you can put the right amount of heat in it with the cayenne pepper. So we've now cooked off some chicken and some sausage with some ham. And after we've sliced it up and made it really nice and good, I mean, it could be leftover barbecue chicken, it could be leftover sausage. But right now I have some smoked sausage and some chicken thighs, because I like the way that tastes. With a little jambon, a little ham inside. We sauteed them all really good, and we're gonna add them to our stewed diced tomatoes. We have them simmering really good, and that's gonna make the base of our jambalaya. So as we add our chicken and the sausage to our tomatoes, then we're gonna actually saute our vegetables. Now I like to use a little bacon fat with my olive oil. So here we go. Olive oil and bacon drippings. And then we're gonna do some onions and some bell pepper. Can't put in too much onions. And then we're gonna add a little green onion and a little celery. And of course the little minced garlic. All the flavors you'd love to taste. We're going to saute them down into the oil and get them really good and tasty. Now what I like to do in every step is add a little of the Cajun flavor. I like to add a little bit of the Cajun seasoning to my vegetables and to my meat and my tomatoes. And anybody who's been doing it a long time knows put a little sugar with those tomatoes. Cuts the edge. The weather is beautiful. The smells are absolutely wonderful. We're going to mix up our sausage and chicken and tomatoes in, in its own juices in the tomatoes. And once our vegetables get cooked off, we're going to add that. Now, the recipe can also tell you how to do it all in one pot, which is very easy to do. And then you can serve it right in the same pot. And jamban, again, is with ham, so we have a little ham flavoring in that. So here we go. We're browning off and sauteing our vegetables. Remember, in New Orleans and in Louisiana, jambalayas and gumbos are as different as the people who are fixing them. This happens to be a really basic one, and it's very, very good and quick and easy to make. I'm going to add a little parsley. Now that I got my vegetables going. So we added it all in. And here we go. We've got that simmering. If you can see it, it's fabulous. The color is beautiful. It has all, you can actually use red peppers or yellow peppers as opposed to the bell pepper, the green one, because then it'll just add flavor and color. Again, we have smoked sausage. You can use andouille, Italian sausage, hot sausage, whatever you'd like, and chicken. You can also add seafood to this if you'd like to add some nice shrimp. You can do that as well. Again, this is jambalaya, and it's very, very tasty, and it's a staple. Now, we're going to add some rice. I'm going to fold in some rice. And then we're going to add, if you want, some little water or a little chicken stock. And you're going to let that simmer. 10 minutes at the most, and then you're ready to eat it. Because now the rice is gonna absorb all the flavors of the chicken and the sausage and the seasoning. Doesn't that look great?